Hello, everybody. Yet another eruption has begun on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland at 6.02 a.m. on February 8th, with it being the third in three months. Its size is somewhere in between the last two eruptions, with the location being exactly the same as on December 18th. Fortunately, no one was in Grindavík at the time, but there were some guests at the Blue Lagoon, but everyone has been evacuated. This eruption actually answers a few questions about the activity in Svartsengi. So, let's get into the details. Beginning with the date. The date of this eruption was not as much of a surprise as would be normally, as based on data we had around two weeks ago, it looked like there was an average of 27 days between intrusions. That led to an estimated eruption date between February 7th and 14th. And as we're witnessing now, this cycle seems to continue. Another answered question is the point where magma flows into the dike from Svartsengi. Since the precursor of this eruption was not even an hour, and it began with similar power as the first one, it is now crystal clear that this influx point is under Mount Sealingafell. Those are good news, as this means if magma begins looking any further south than the January 14th eruption, it'll most likely run out of puff and stall. Since the magma during this intrusion went straight up from the influx point, there is a lot of pressure. There is a lot of pressure left, which causes high lava output. The size of this eruption is between the last two, probably with an output of around 180 to 250 cubic meters per second. Lava fountains were spectacular in the beginning, with some likely reaching heights of 40 to 50 meters. Even though that's impressive, it is nothing compared to the fountains on December 18th, as they reached heights greater than 100 meters. Currently, there are two main lava flows. One is going in a perfect direction, while the other is a little bit naughty. I say that because it's heading straight for Grindavík's main road, flowing along the southern slopes of Mount Stora Skogfell. At this pace, it could reach it, with around 1.7 kilometers to go, although, if we've learned something from the past two eruptions, this one should begin slowing down soon, with output most likely decreasing by 75% in the next 24 hours. So, the road will likely be fine. Will this eruption last longer than the previous two? Most likely not. Like the others, it'll probably be done within the next three days. As of the making of this video, GPS data points after the eruption started have yet to arrive, but they could definitely answer some questions regarding the complicated chamber situation under Svartsengi. As during the January 14th eruption, one GPS station showed no subsidence, while others did. Will that be the case now? I'll keep you guys updated through posts. So, all in all, I think this eruption is a good sign, as it confirmed that eruptions aren't looking further south and will most likely never be able to. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean Grindavík is completely safe, as during these intrusions, Grindavík is torn further apart, as it happens to sit right above the dike that all these intrusions intrude along. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.